Manila City conducted a second wave of the targeted mass testing for the coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 here in Sampaloc, the district with the highest tally of the said virus. The local government of Manila, together with the Hospital ng Sampaloc, in collaboration with a private entity, held a second community-based targeted mass rapid testing for frontliners and individuals with a household member who tested positive for COVID-19. The testing was held at Barangay 435 Covered Court. The barangay has evaluated each household and chose the individuals who will undergo the test. Assistant Hospital Director of Hospital ng Sampaloc, Dr. Manuel Sotelo III, assured that the test kits are approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Sotelo said that they are anticipating to test about 500 people. However, if the number of individuals exceeded the expected number, they are ready to accommodate them as test kits from their previous activity are available. Well, we were hoping na makakuha tayo ng as many as 500 for the day. Uh, pero sa tingin ko, we will uh, moang lalampas tayo dun sa target na 500 natin. Sotelo explained that a rapid test kit is a screening tool or an indirect method to know if the person is positive with the virus. Ang ginagawa po natin ngayon, uh, ginagamit natin siya as screening tool. So knowing that these are indirect methods to know that the person has an, an uh, COVID. An individual who would be tested for COVID-19 will have to fill up a form upon entering. Afterwards, a health worker will extract a person's blood. Results will be released after 15 minutes. If the rapid test kits showed positive results, the person will be subject to real-time polymerase chain reaction test or swabbing which is also available in the court. As of Friday 11 a.m., 218 individuals have been tested in Barangay 435. Based on Manila City's data, there are 598 active COVID-19 cases in the city. 118 are recorded in Sampaloc as of Thursday 5 p.m. Further, to ensure the safety of our news team, we have been tested. The results showed that we are negative for the virus. For One Media Network, this is Denisa Fernandez.